Okay, so for this question then, we've got to find the area of the rectangle ABCD. And in order to do this, we've got to find out the coordinates of B and D. And if we do that, we can then either work out by Pythagoras' theorem the length of AD and AB, or we could, and this is the method I prefer, just work out the area of this triangle ADB and double it, okay? Because we've got two equal triangles here, okay? So let's go with that. Whatever method you're going to use, though, you've got to find the coordinates of D and B. We'll start off with the coordinates for B, okay? Just put a subtitle here. For B, if we're to get its x-coordinate, remember, all we need to do is say when y equals 0 in this equation. And when y equals 0, we're left with 2x equals 10. And from that, obviously, if you divide both sides by 2, x equals 5. So we know that that point there has an x-coordinate of 5. And we'll now look at D, and for D, again, this is going to be when Y equals 0 in the equation for AD, which we found in the first part. If we set Y equal to 0, we therefore have minus 5X equals 4, and that leads to X equaling minus 4 fifths. Okay, let's just put that in there. That's minus 4 fifths in that direction. Okay, so when it comes to working out the area of the rectangle, just put an intro here, area of ABCD, then I'm going to use the fact that it's twice the area of the triangle ADB. So area of a triangle, half base times height. So there's the half. Now the base is going to be the length BD. We know it's minus four fifths that way but the length will be four fifths and it's five units that way so it's a question of just doing four fifths plus five for that base okay and we multiply it by the height of the triangle that's o to a and it crosses the y-axis here this vertex here is at two units up so that's going to be times two well the twos cancel out here, and it's just a question of doubling four fifths plus five. Well, that's a total of 29 fifths here, times it by two, and you get 58 fifths. You could leave it like that, or you might want to write it as decimal, and that's going to be 11.6, okay? I prefer to write units squared at the end because it is an area that we're finding here. Um, you're not going to lose any marks if you don't put that in, but it's just a preference from my point of view. Okay, so hope you're able to uh, get that if it caused any problems.